Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to talk about frequency abbreviations used to describe medication times and orders. Also, whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will test you on this material. So let's get started. It's important to be familiar with abbreviations that are used to describe frequencies. And frequencies refers to the amount of times that something should be completed or administered. For example, frequency abbreviations in nursing can be used to describe how often a patient needs to take a medication. Like, do they need to take the medication in the AM or the PM? Or Q4H, meaning every four hours, or BID, which means twice a day. Or abbreviations can be used when ordered by the physician to tell the nurse how often certain lab levels should be drawn. For example, like troponin levels. The physician may order some troponin levels Q6H, which means every six hours. Now, you always want to be careful whenever you are using a abbreviations and to follow the abbreviation guidelines set by your employer because some abbreviations can have multiple meanings and it can lead to a medical error. So if you're ever in doubt about an abbreviation, just simply write it out. The first one is AC, and AC stands for before meals. Now you may see this abbreviation along with either like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. For example, you may see AC and then beside of it BK, and that would just simply mean before breakfast. Then we have the opposite of AC, and it is PC, and PC stands for after meals. So how do you keep these two straight? Well, we have AC, which means before meals. And remember in the alphabet, A comes before all of the other letters. So we know that's before. And then we have PC, which is after meals, and P comes after A. Now, two other types of abbreviations that you may see that's similar to the before and after frequency is like an A with a line above it or a P with a line above it. If you see it with an A in a line, that would mean before and a P with a line would mean after. And then we have the abbreviation PM and PM means in the evening. So around nighttime. And then the opposite of that is AM and this is for in the morning. Now you may also encounter the abbreviation HS. However, it's really no longer recommended because it can be confused with half strength and it would represent bedtime, but they really recommend that you write out the word bedtime instead of using HS. Next, we have the letter Q and you may see this as a capital Q or a lowercase Q and this means every. Also HR or just H and that means hour and then MIN, M-I-N, which stands for minutes. And many times Sometimes these abbreviations are combined with a number to specify the frequency. For instance, you may see Q2HR or Q2H, and that stands for every two hours. And you can keep going like every four hours, every six hours. And this is a popular way of how many medications are administered. And then you may also see it as Q15MIN, which would mean like every 15 minutes. And this is a popular way for how we dictate how we're going to collect vital signs for like, let's say a post-op patient. Then we have the frequency daily. And this could just be written out daily, or it could be written out as Q24HR or q 24 h and this is just something to describe that whatever needs to be given or done daily. Now, back in the day, they used to use the abbreviation QD. However, that is a one that you absolutely do not use. It's no longer recommended in practice. Then we have the frequency every other day. And there is no abbreviation approved for this one. They recommend that you just write that out. Back in the day, again, they used to use QOD for every other day, but that is no longer recommended in practice. Next, we have the abbreviation BID. And this stands for twice a day. You may also see TID, and that stands for three times a day, and then QID, which stands for four times a day. And these abbreviations are actually Latin terms that they've used to abbreviate. And lastly, let's look at these miscellaneous frequency abbreviations. So the first one is STAT, S-T-A-T, and this means immediately, so it is time critical. Then we have the letter X, and X means time or time. So for example, you may see an X1, and that would mean one time or one dose only. For example, let's say you get an order for morphine. It may say, give morphine IV two milligrams um, X1 times one dose. 
and there's also ad lib and that means as much as the patient desires i have seen this abbreviation whenever the physician's ordering the patient to be up out of bed like oob out of bed or to ambulate, like ambulate as much as the patient desires. And lastly, we have PRN, which means as needed. So a lot of times you're gonna see this with some medication orders. So the medication order may say the patient can have a certain medication, PRN as needed for pain, like Q4H, which would mean every four hours. Now let's quickly test your knowledge on these frequency abbreviations. So you see the abbreviation AC, what does that mean? Mean. It means before meals. So if you've seen that you needed to give a medication AC, you would need to give it before meals. Next is TID PC. So if you've seen this, what does it mean to you? It means that you need to do it three times a day after meals. So now let's say you have a patient who's taken an oral medication and they're taking it Q6H. How many doses is that patient receiving per day? Well, we know that Q6H or Q6HR means every six hours. So we know there's 24 hours in a day. So that patient is getting four doses per day. Okay, if you would like some more practice with these abbreviations, you can access the free quiz in the link below. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this abbreviation series.